Sysphere here again. Uh, welcome back to the Ultimate Command series. Today we're going to be having a look at the effect command, that slash effect, that first came in in 1.5 or snapshot 13w09b. And this particular command enables you to give all the various effects you see on potions, such as speed, regeneration, weakness, strength, night vision, that sort of stuff. And also things like if you eat zombie flesh, hunger, you can give that as well. So all those various effects, the whole list of them is on the wiki. So we're going to have a look at the first one here. So we've got a slash effect command targeting the closest player. And here you can either have numbers of the particular effect or the name of it, which in this case is Minecraft jump underscore boost. The old system was numbers only, in future it may well just be names only. In fact, I'm not 100% sure, sure if you can use numbers or not in 1.8. You might, I just forgot to check. But in future, that's what you do. This bit here, just after the effect, is a time, so giving it for 10 seconds. And here we have the level, and that has given me a level 1 jump boost. So if I press a button, and all the parts come off me, and we have a look in here, there's my jump boost. You'll also notice it's jump boost 2, even though I chose level 1. The reason for that is actually 0 is the first level, as it goes up in a binary scale. So it supports from 0 to 255, that's 256 values, or 8-bit if you're into that sort of thing. So 1 actually gets you level 2. So if I give myself there, and I have a jump of a couple of blocks up into the air, if you don't specify a level, you will get level 0, which is the first level. And here I'm giving myself another jump boost, and this one just for 5 seconds, and level 127. So if I give 127, what does that do? Well, it does that. In fact, I get up to about 430 blocks there. Which, considering the floor is... where's the floor? 56? Is not bad, it's approaching a 400 block jump into the air. Important things to mention, if I give myself that one, then that one, I get the higher level jump boost. But if I give myself that one, and then that one, I'll still have the higher level jump boost. So a higher levels always override the lower level version, but higher times, so in the case of that one, 10 seconds, does not override 5 seconds on a higher level. So if 127 does that, then surely even bigger jump boost should come if I go up for another level. Because I did say it supports up to 255. All right, we'll give 128 for five seconds. And I'm now spamming my spacebar and I'm not actually moving now. Yes, this used to support up to 255 and technically it still does. But any values over 127 start to go a little bit strange. So in the case of jump boost, you can't actually jump at all with level 128. So that's interesting. You want to make a map and lock somebody down so they can't actually jump at all. And you may notice I can't even engage creative flight when that's active. It's better. Now if you do have your whatever it is, jump boost, strength, mining fatigue, whatever. If you give somebody that effect, so then again, Minecraft jump underscore boost for zero seconds, it takes away the jump boost effect. So there we are, got that for 10 seconds, press that, and it's gone. Also, you see it does say jump boost too. The higher levels, in this case, just say jump boost as it will only actually show the name that's available, or in case of uh, like regeneration, just going off the screen there, and regeneration two, any higher levels, it just says like regeneration, jump etc., rather than regeneration level 128 or whatever. Now, say we've got these three here, which is jump boost, speed, and absorption. So if I hit the button, there we go. So now I'm, Quite fast, I'd, if I was to jump, I'd take off, and also I'm regenerating health, and I've got particles going everywhere. I look quite entertaining. But, if you look in here, I don't have any time left registered here. So some silly fool has gone ahead and set these to be the maximum time limit possible, which is a million seconds. 
If you don't set any time at all, you get 30 seconds as a default. But a million seconds is the highest you can possibly have. And we've got three different effects. So how do we get rid of those? Well, there is a remove all effects option. Let's open that one up. And it's simply given the effect, close to play it again in this case, of clear. Press the button. And here we go. No more effects on my screen. That's the command equivalent of drinking a bucket of milk. Although in real life, if you drank a bucket of milk, you'd probably end up with a nausea effect pretty quick. It isn't just players that affects though. So we've got a nice little zom zombie uh, summoner here, which is very similar to our one from an earlier episode over there. But due to budget constraints, somebody left a hole in the roof. And if we summon our zombie, oh, we've got a villager one. That's... Hmm. Really doesn't like it. But if we press this button here, there we go. He's happily on fire and doesn't mind at all. Look inside here, we are targeting an entity of a type of zombie in radius of 5, just so it doesn't get any others in the world, and giving Minecraft fire resistance. You will see I've given no time limit and no levels, so as default, he's got it for 30 seconds and level 0. Which, with fire resistance, there's no need for any higher levels anyway, because if you're resistant to fire, that's it. And he'll be like that for 30 seconds, or if somebody comes along, and does that. And now he doesn't like that sunlight anymore. Bye bye Mr. Zombie. Bye bye. When I say bye bye you meant to die. There we go, that's better. So it's the exact same command as in the other block. We've just added a zero on the end to give him for zero seconds to remove it. And you can apply that to pretty much any entities. The final part here. I've got show particles and hide particles. If we're looking here, by default, all the commands you've seen so far actually have the word false on the end. It's just we haven't written it. If you don't write it, it has false. And that is um, whether you hide the particles or not. So if I press this, you see I've got some nice little particles around me. No green ones. Oh, don't I look lovely? And this one over here has true instead. So that's true for hide the particles. If I do that, oops, I have jump boost again. If you look at me, no particles. And you can just sort of switch back and forward like that. Obviously I'm giving myself the jump boost for 10 seconds each time I hit it. And that does mean you could give somebody like the jump boost level 128 to keep them nailed to the ground at all times, and you could hide all the particles, you couldn't see them do it. So that is the effect command. And as per usual, the world download is available in the description below. And feel free to play around, ask any questions you like in the description. In the description, the comments, I know what I'm talking about, honest, I do. And I hope you found it useful. So as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. Ah, tell you these corridors just seem to go on forever, door after door after... What the hell? Okay, well that was a little bit odd. Oh, it's a merry-go-round! Oh, I haven't seen one of those in ages!